Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. This is Curse of Strahd, something very different. And you can tell because you're looking at this game. What the heck? We've not seen this before. All right. So what are we doing in this video? I want to showcase something. Um, Vicomte de Valmont made a comment in previous video and just said, oh, yeah, by the way, um, have you looked at Benios? Benios battle maps? No, no, I haven't. It's not one I've come across. So I thought I'd investigate it um, because there's so many different people out there, groups of people, individuals that are doing various types of maps and things like that. Um, and of course, we've in our Curse of Strahd series, we have been using other people's maps because <laughs> you've seen my ability to make maps. It's not great, is it? <laughs> and that's fine. That's not my strength. <laughs> yeah, it barely counts as a weakness. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm using other people's assets. So, um, I had a little look at Benios Battle Maps um, and had a bit of a nerdgasm. Uh, <laughs> and I thought I would show you. So, first of all, um, it's patron only. So, it's not free. Uh, and once we get into this, you'll realise why it's not free. Um, it works out, it depends where you are, of course, but it works out almost £20 a month for the patron. Now, that's quite expensive. But if you've got the money and you haven't got the time, this is probably a really, really good solution for you. I mean, just look at what you're looking at at the moment. This is just the intro landing page or their equivalent of a landing page. It's animated, um, you know, we've got sounds. Hopefully the sounds are okay, it shouldn't be too loud for you. Um, but we've got sounds, we've got atmosphere, we've got some weather effects. We're just sitting here waiting to start. This is the landing page. Um, so what I'm going to do, because there's an awful, it's like, where do I start? How do I take you guys through this? I'm going to start by taking you through the experience and, and just show you a few of the maps and things, how they have got the built-in links. Everything's already linked, uh, which is marvellous. Um, and just show it off a bit. Um, then, depending on time, because this could end up being a really, really long video, so I need to be con conscious of that, especially if I keep waffling. Um, then show you a bit of the player's experience and what they see, because it will be different, of course. Um, and it may well be in a different video that I show you how to set it up. Setting it up is really, really easy. And that's the, that's the time saver of this. It's all done for you. Just a few clicks and bam, ready to go. So I've spent probably two hours this morning in total to go oh let's google benios maps let's look at what they've got let's sort out my patron uh let's install the appropriate mods that's required to do this let's install the scenes set them up and have a quick fiddle about two hours i'm ready to do a video well i say ready you know you know what my videos are like <laughs> i've never prepared as much as i should be so really straightforward sharp that's what you're thinking you're thinking sharp get on show us all right so this is the landing page. Now I'm obviously in as the DM. I can click on the Barovia map here. And look, it's the map. With all the locations on. Everything on here. And we have uh, a player token. So we can move the player token around, show where they are. We've got the gates of Barovia. Um, the corpse, of course, that we know about. Um, oh, and I've got the player's token on, which is why it's hidden everything. We've got the farm. The Durst House, Death House, same thing. The the village, everything. It's all here. And this map is totally showable to the players. Um, but of course, they're only going to see bits they've explored. Let's click on characters. This is, and again, this is a scene that you can absolutely show the players. It's got every character, every NPC for the entire module is in here. So let's let's focus on the top here. Okay, because this is the opening bit that we've kind of covered in our series. We've got Rose and Thorn here. Uh, we've got the village of Barovia with all of their characters. We've not quite got to building this yet. Um, but they're all here. They've got actors. They've got tokens for everything we need. Now, what's really good, at the top of it, all of these scenes, they've got some instructions to help us as the DM to run this. Reveal the location and the NPC as soon as your players have met it basically make the text and the actor visible everyone has a right to see uh, the name via mouse over but cannot open the sheet which is 
that's the default settings for them, which is brilliant. So what do we mean by that? So we go, all oh, right, when they enter the village of Barovia, we can reveal this village of Barovia. They've met this individual. They've met this individual. They've met this individual. We can just unhide them. So they're going to see that there's gaps of things that they can't see. But as they meet these people, they're going to be able to just come in and see the host of characters. And probably realise that there's hundreds of them. <laughs> How cool is that? So it's kind of like a landing page just for the uh, for the characters. Now, obviously, I want to hide all of those again. Um, same with the... If I actually on the right thing. You know, same with the map is they can only see what they need to see as they get to it. So they can't really see the gates of Ravenloft until they're within range of it. There is a journal. If I click on the journal, straight away we've got some tabs and things here. This is a player's journal, so they can edit their own quests uh, and type in their quest notes and things, which is great. Uh, there is a page here where there's a link to each player can have their own area to make their journal notes, player notes. There we go, player one, here's your notes. They can open their notes, make their own notes, etc. They can access this anytime they like. Um, and they can come in and make their own notes if they want to. Now, in my version that I've been building, I've got one set of player notes that they can all edit rather than individual notes. No, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, nice though, isn't it? Uh, and here we've got the artifacts. Now, again, on my landing page, I've got the setup of the study and I will reveal those things. They're just doing it a different way. Um, oh, what did I do? There we go. Uh, so again, it says it like, makes the tiles visible. So all we need to do is, yep, you found that. Ta -da! And they can see the um, see that particular icon, etc. So yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Really cool. Um, and for the well, what's it, the a Taroka deck, a bit like the Tarot deck, it's here. And again, we just replace these with the correct cards when they've done that. We haven't really talked about that bit. It's a little bit further on in the module from what we've been building. But they've got this so they can always come back and see their card reading which is brilliant uh, we can go back home to this front screen so this is basically all the landing page stuff it's all set up right that's fairly straightforward and it's beautiful i like that very much so um i've got all my scenes here now what i've done is i've installed their chapter two gates of barovia the Svalich woods and road and their death house that's all i've imported at the moment um but let me show you uh let me show you how this works let's go to the gates of barovia i'm just going to open this up now i can access this from the map as well if i come into here i can right click these icons and go to view scene activate scene i've also got these shortcuts over here as well okay so if i can go to the camp in the forest now what's really interesting is most areas have two versions they've got the battle map so anything labeled bm battle map for the camp in the forest and they've got a scene so the camp in the forest i've got both i've also got camp in the open if i go to camp in the forest let's activate this scene how beautiful is this animated scene uh, it's just a camp in the woods lovely jubbling again this uh, it says about this date being a bit up a bit dated it doesn't reflect some of the current standards they're basically just saying oh this map was done a while ago well what the hell look at it it's beautiful don't care <laughs> but this interface at the bottom comes with it so you can right click as the dm and go to any of these and just jump around wherever you need to um, activate or view scenes the map of course the world map region maps uh, whatever you need to do but also you can move from this one directly to the associated battle map so it's the same layout it's just the difference between the battle map and the scene yeah so you've got the same kind of couple of tents um, the fire and everything else and it matches there we go there's your two tents with your fire in the middle uh, and again, it's animated. So it's just a really nice way to do it. Um, just flip between the two. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
And we can do that with a whole bunch of things. Now what you will see on the right hand side here where we've got our scenes, there's a bright version and a dark version of a lot of these things. Um, let's go to battle map for the road. Let's activate this. This is the bright version of it. Uh, and if we go to which is the road one, I can go to the darker version of it. So, I mean, I would probably, once they're into, uh, once they're through the gates of Ravenloft, I'm going to be using the dark version of almost everything, um, unless there's very specific reasons not to. Or you can hear some of the sounds in the background. Nice, gentle mist. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Now, some of them, like this one, we don't have a, um, we've only got a battle map. Okay, so we've only got that for this one. We haven't got a, a, um, uh, a scenery that's the one um, but also notice on a lot of these maps we've got things like oh look we've got these follow the road yeah um, and we can actually just move on and takes us to the gates of Barovia now I'm going to switch this to the view scene um, here it is isn't it gorgeous now, you're going to have to work out. You're going to have to spend a bit of time working out your sequencing of when you want to use battle maps versus when you want to use scenes. Um, you can, of course, because this is in your foundry, you can, of course, edit it. You might kind of go, I'm never going to use that battle map, get rid of it, delete it out, um, and adjust the, the thing so that's not an option. You could absolutely do that. I mean, I, I would just basically work out how you want to do it. It's nice having them available. Um got this top-down battle map view and we've got this front on much brighter daylight view with everything intact here so there's some really really good ways of doing this now I want to and again forgive me because I haven't spent ages on this um, but if I want to use the map again gates of Barovia I can just activate this scene and bring myself straight in here and this is where look we can on the left here we can shortcut straight to the bright version we can go to the front of it we can go back to the road we can go to the back of the gates we've got uh, we've got a law thing here uh, learn something about this place we've got again the individual maps but look at this we have a intro video so some of these scenes have intro videos on uh, and if I activate this scene we got a par we got a start pause intro button you can play a video talk over it if necessary some you might want to do in silence you can talk about them the fact that they're walking through the woods um, you know through these fields at the edge of the woods uh, and they can see off in the distance a large wall that blocks their way and as they round the corner um, I'm a bit ahead of it as they round a corner they can see this gateway in the wall that leads them beyond. Yeah? And the fact that there's, you know, the ruined heads, etc. And of course you can pause that at any time you want. Now the only thing is I do believe this video will loop again, so you kind of need to be ready to stop it. There we go. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it cinematic? Now, game, we don't want to turn into a video game, but it's got cutscenes built in. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. And that's going to fade out, and then I can bring that to a stop and, of course, take them to the next thing. Uh, so it says up here, you know, like, intro cinematic. Use this sequence to present this place to your players. They've thought of so many things. Of course, now they're looking at a black screen, so I need to be ready to move on to my next my next scene here whatever that might be uh, I'm in the wrong place of course because um, <laughs> uh, I want my scene up front there we go so I'm gonna leave it at this while they then decide what they're going to do you know chances are they're gonna just go oh we just walk through the gates okay fine you walk through the gates I think there's like a there's a back of the gates as well so once they walk through it you know this is the back side of the gates as they head off into Barovia it's just beautiful. Like I say, I've literally spent about two hours before clicking record on this to get all of this set up. So I've not massively looked at parts of this. Uh, let's jump to uh, let's jump to the death house, so we can go straight to the exterior. So here we are, 
this is their version of it now again the dm has these controls on here for doing there's no intro video for this one we have got our our two characters rose and thorn so we can do our conversation and our role play and of course you can change out these images if you wanted to you know if you're not happy with the ones that they've got absolutely you can fiddle with it and change whatever you like but you don't need to now what we will see down the left hand side we have got one two three and four for the different maps and then we've got one two three and four for the evil versions of it okay so if they're trying to escape the death house and we've got basement one and two and again look we've got battle map and scenery so if, let's do let's do scenery this is as they enter the house this beautiful picture but i've got this button here again it's not a left click job because I, no touchies <laughs> but you can right click and then activate the scene so this is their ground floor battle map and it, it's different it, it's it, we're coming in from over here on the right hand side and we're coming in here uh, we've got tokens for rose and thorn here that you may or may not need maybe you've got them coming into the house uh, this far in the original module it talks about them not coming into the house because they're actually illusionary anyway um, but yeah we got all the doors are in um, all the walls are in everything is ready to go we've got our areas of our 2a so we link it back to the module we've got lighting in um, again this is the map that they've come with that they've given us you might not like the maps you could change it out for your own map um, that's going to be quite a lot of work it's going to be quite a lot of work I wouldn't bother I would either go with these maps or build my own completely from scratch. Uh, look, oh yeah, look, there's a secret, uh, the secret hatch here that you can open and close. So when they come back up out and they find that way, you can open that and now they can see it. It's changed the image, it's moved the carpet out of the way, which is really cute. Cute. <laughs> uh, what's that uh, DM activator? Oh, it's wanting to draw. Ignore me. <laughs> Just like I say, I've not really played with it. But we can open and close that, which is really, really nice. Uh, love that. Um, but look, again, all, we've got all the links here um, where we're requested. So here, to the battle map for the evil version. Well, we don't want the evil version it yet. We can move upstairs. Let's move to the battle map for upstairs there we go we come upstairs we've got the music room um again there's links to the evil version if we need to do that we've got another secret door here that we can open and close on the left hand side which is great we've got moving up moving down um we want to go we want to go up there we go we're at the top floor here we've got our specter already in here for the nursemaid we've got our animated broom is in here which is already set up, ready to go, which is Fabo. Fabo? Where did that come from? <laughs> Our animated armor. It's it's ready to go. It's ready. I mean, always run through and check it. Make sure you know what you're going to do. You want it to run smoothly, of course. If you've built it yourself, you intimately know your maps. Um, secret doors there as well. And we can go up to the attic. Yeah. If you build it yourself, you your your intimate knowledge of your maps is going to is going to run smoothly if you're using something like this run through it make sure you know where am i using a scene where am i you know not going to do that um so we've got all of these uh let's change look at the scenery for this one there we go so it's just giving all the cobwebs and stuff on the top floor it's just you might be describing the scene as they come to the top of the stairs or whatever it is you can use those scenes just to break it up so you're not using battle maps all the time now for the house itself um, I want them using tokens I want them moving around I'm going to be using the battle map version um, they've got the secret door here we can go down into the dungeon let's go into the, the dungeon area so again the orientation is different from my map um, and it's a different map of course the players can't necessarily see a lot of this stuff we've got all of the ghouls are in here We've got our ghasts that they've put behind. I've got mine off scene, but they've got those behind doors, which is fine. These shadows and things like that. So everything is here. Let's go up to the evil version. So 
rather than my animations, they've got these animations of the spinny blades. They've got the smoke. Their smoke's much better than mine. <laughs> it just is, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that. Uh, so, yeah, we've got spinny blades of different types and things. Um, absolutely, we can go down yeah, the next floor that's evil. Look at the smoke. How cool is that? Yeah, it's not quite a 3D map, but it almost is. A bit, bit of perspe perspective. Um, and they can go all the way down through the house. Spinny blades. We've got that animated armors here. Uh, move back downstairs. And then they've got to try and get out the front door. And they've got spinny blades right on the front door as well. So it's just it's just gorgeous. Um, again, it might not be the what you want, but it's all here. So um, now I've shown you that. What about the play of you? Okay, give me a second. I need to switch my windows around. Okay, so I've switched my windows around, but I haven't got um, I haven't got my my token on here. So um, let's try. To bolt. There we go. Oh, that's a bit loud, isn't it? That's a bit loud. So this is the play of you. There we go. I was changing on the DM screen. Of course, I want to do it in the player screen. Just change that environment volume, put that down a bit um, for the sake of the video. Um, hopefully that balance is a bit better. You can still hear it without it drowning my voice out. Uh, oh, on the side of caution, turn it down a bit more. Um, so yeah, I've only got, I haven't got Bob's proper character, but there we go. It's all ready to go. We can move through there. So there are no trap triggers and things like that. But again, for my Cursor Strad, I wasn't intending to have very much automation anyway. It's more about the look and feel that, you know, they they know walking through there looks dodgy. That's fine. We're going to manage that through proper gameplay rather than through foundry mechanics. It is just amazing. So what I want to do, what do I want to show you? Let me go back to the landing page. Let's drag Bob back to the landing page. So this is what Bob can see. Um, Bob can click on the map, but Bob can see basically very little. Yes, we've got the player token here and until they start moving around and revealing that map Bob can't see it yeah so that's going to be really really good for us the fact that um, we can show them the map as it grows uh, of course uh, maybe <laughs> before I run it I will want to uh, put back the uh... oh yeah I want to put back the, um, the the fog of war and stuff. I'll be able to do that. But this is Bob can navigate through. Oh look, I've got the uh, <laughs> I've got the hag visible there. So this is that obviously this is that scene where we will start to see. Let me do that on the other screen. Sorry, it's a little bit bitty this one, isn't it? Because I'm an idiot. No, uh, <laughs> let's make sure that hag is hidden. But I can, as the DM, in the other screen, I can go, oh, right, the village of Barovia, absolutely, and you've met this person, and you've met this person, and they start popping up. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Uh, there's no reason I would hide them once they've encountered them. But I can if I want to, which is great. Uh, as the player, I can go to the journal. Oh, yeah, great, okay. Uh, now, they haven't got the... Yeah, I haven't given them permissions to be able to write in here, but again, they can flick through. And of course, I need to give them journal permissions for the individual players so they can access those uh, and be able to see them. And in fact, on my, if I uh, do this over here, bear with me one second. Uh,
if I configure ownership. Struggling to toggle visibility because I'm that kind of an idiot. Uh, All right, I can pop that open for the players. Uh, I'd have to fiddle with that and just get to make sure that's working. Like I say, I've not actually really played with this apart from having a look and go, ooh, how exciting is this? This is really cool. Okay, so um, we've got all of these things. Well, what I do want to just test for myself as well as anything else, we've looked at a few of those bits there. What happens if I take my players? Um, I can take them to... Sorry, bear with me. I can take them to the front gates of Barovia here, of the um, of the gates. So that's the scene that we've got. And what I wanted to do, actually, if I activate the intro on my other screen, if I click play. Uh, oh, I haven't got me. So you're seeing the player's view now. This is what is going to be broadcast to your players for this scene. So that's the video we just watched, of course, but this is how it looks for them. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's just It just shows the power of Foundry and what you can do. It's the prep time, of course it is. I can't do this. I can't make an animated scene like this, make, make this kind of video. That's just never going to happen for me. Um, so, you know, is this an expensive option? Yes, but it's a really high quality option. Um, and I know people, somebody's going to put in the comments about, well, you join you join the, the Patreon, uh, and then you download the adventure and all the maps that you want, and then you just leave their Patreon again. Yeah, you can do that. Um, and if you're really pushed for money, um, but you really want to access it, that's better than nothing. Of course, you are supporting those people. I mean, you know, try not to do that if you can help it, you know, because how much time and effort has gone into this? All right. So, uh, video's cracking on isn't it let's stop that <laughs> what do i want to do now i want to show you basically how to install these things so we looked at moulinet before um and this is pretty much all driven no not driven um but moulinet is the is the basis of allows you to pull this stuff in now for moulinet you can have a patron version of moulinet um, which gives you access to some of the advanced functions. If you choose to become a patron of Benios, uh, if you choose the higher tier one, which gives you access to these more impressive, more detailed maps um, that I've showing here. Okay, so this is the more expensive option. It automatically gives you access to Moulinet as well. Okay, so it comes as part of that package, which is beautiful. So, all right, scenes I've done. I've done Gates of Barovia, Savalich, Woods uh, and Road and the Death House. Okay, so if I want to bring in another scene, I can go to my actors and I've now got this search the Benios database. I can click that up and I can now search using this little built-in search engine, any of these tokens for anything. I can do them, say we've got by purpose, um, by movement, by CR, by token type, um, you know, show me beasts. Here's some beasts of a CR 0 to 4. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> Horses, all sorts of things here. Movement, uh, yeah, flying things, please. There we go. Swarm of vampire bats. So you can absolutely just search. You could, you've got a text box as well, you can just search. I can go to maps, so just so you're aware, there are spells, so they've got some spells they've done themselves, there are items, again, items they've done themselves, stuff that may or may not be relevant to particular encounters uh, and stuff like that, but again, you can pull them in, use them, brilliant. I'm interested in maps right now, and I can go to Adventure and search for, look, they've got Descent into Avernus, um, they've got single maps and things, I want the Curse of Strahd ones, here it comes up with a Death House. I can choose the dark ones, the medium ones, any map sizes, um, the type. I only want battle maps. I only want sceneries. You can pick those. Um, I'm happy with this. 
Uh, and what's the next one I want? We've got Grassland Camp, Svalich Road, of course. Uh, let's bring in. Let's bring in this one. Okay, so the Velaki. If I go to the release URL, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. That's <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Um, but this takes you through to the Patreon, so you can see it. That's not what I wanted to do at all. What I wanted to do is on the right hand side there is a download icon. That's what I want to do. And if I click on that, and you're thinking, oh, but you're only downloading the one map, aren't you? Come on, do it. There we go. So it opens Moulinet for me. So in my Moulinet, of course, I can any of these types of maps I can access, but it's going to default to bringing me into the Benios battle maps and it's going to bring me into this. So I can come straight into Moulinet and find them that way. I don't have to use the search engine from Benios. Either way works. Okay, so uh, actually let's go, let's do... Um, yeah, let's do Castle Ravenloft. Have I done the village? Did I do... I haven't brought in the village. Let's do the village of Barovia instead. Uh, just want to get rid of my search thing. Um, just refresh this. Uh, do, 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 oh, I've lost it. Uh, village of Barovia, chapter 3. So this is what I've not brought in. Now you can see there's a HD version and there's a 4K version. I'm going to go for this. Here's everything. Now you're going to think, oh, oh blimey, that's quite a lot to install, isn't it? Let's pick on any one of these. Click that. It's going to open it up. And I can go, yes, I want this. Uh, I'm not sure which particular scene this was. I just clicked on. I can go to import scene. Look at the bottom. I can import this one scene or I can import the entire pack. It's 115, so this is going to take a while, um, and I might need to cut the Ed cut the video. Depends how much I waffle, but this is now taking all of these maps you can see, all of the scenes, and because I've got the higher level Patreon, which is I think it was just about it's about what 20 pounds, like 17 pounds or something like that um, per month. So it's it's not cheap, um, but it's going to bring in all of these scenes, all of the battle maps all of the links and everything and it's just going to build it and those links will automatically work for the other scenes I've already got so the links on the map will try to take me to these new scenes if I've got them it will take me to them if I don't have them obviously it won't so you don't have to bring in the entire adventure Curse of Strahd you can just bring in an individual chapter you can bring in an individual scene um, however you want to do it. So my progress bar at the bottom top here says 19, or oh, it's just jumped to 22%. So it's going to take a little while. Now these are 4K maps and scenes, and they're animated, and they've got everything on. So yeah, it's it's not quick to bring them in, but um, yeah, it's going to do a fine job. Uh, I'm going to come back to you in a moment once this is finished. And by the power of editing, it's finished downloading. It's just doing its last couple of bits here. You can see some flickering at the top. With the progress bars, it's just extracting all those assets and chucking them in the right-hand side here. Um, and you can see that it's building this folder over here now for Chapter 3, the village of Barovia, with all of its different folders and stuff. So just uh, making sure... Oh, no, we're not even remotely finished, are we? There's a lot. A lot of assets. <laughs> a lot to download. Uh, if it carries on, I might have to... Uh, Oh, we're done. Hooray! Okay, so we're complete. So it always gives you a nice complete and it brings up the documentation here. Um, it's defaulting to English for me. So Benios, just in case you're interested, not that it makes any difference. Um, they're, they're based in Germany. So they're doing all of this. So of course there is German support for it uh, because that's their native language. But they've got loads of these videos and stuff. This I'm Ben, founder of Benios Battle Maps and Benios Tokens. Yeah, so you've got lots of little videos and stuff where Benios will take you through how to do stuff. Um, so it's really, really easy to set up. Um, what I would say is Benios instructions are clear enough that if you've managed to find, use the computer 
to get to YouTube and watching this video, you can do the rest of it. Okay, that's the level of skill that you need to be able to import this stuff. Really, really clear instructions. The more complicated bit is like, oh, right, okay, working out the links between your scenes. They're all there, just working out how they work. And you've seen me fluff around with a couple of bits just in this video because I've not done it. Now, it does talk about the fact that there are these modules you need to have activated in there. So before we look at these new scenes, I'm just going to close these down. I've got my new stuff now. I don't need that lot. Um, oh, it's taken straight to one of them. Just so you know, managed modules. So what, what we got installed for running all of this? The Benios module. Okay, so you will need that. And again, there are instructions to tell you that's what you need and how to do it. And Benios relies on FX Master, the library scene packer, blah, 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 blah. I took off every module from this test world. I had no modules running and then went, right, give me Benios. Uh, and then only the requirements that Benios has. So this, what we've got here is what it needs. Um, and I'm in version 12, remember? and it's all working okay so even though and i think some of these where it says like things like the map is dated and i think that's probably because it's still using some of the old stuff they're not updated for version 12 yet but it it works so who cares <laughs> who cares so this has automatically brought me into this one of the new scenes here so the village of barovia we've got an introduction uh, again i've just installed this so i've not seen this we've got another another video introduction to the village so these major scenes little videos how cool is that and we've got castle ravenloft right off in the background there sitting perching on top of the mountain it's slightly odd looking mountain but who cares um there we go and we're coming into the village itself beautiful isn't it um it looks like there is also a introduction video for when they go to the graveyard yeah, and you don't have to use these. If this is not your cup of tea, don't use them. It's fine. <laughs> uh, we've got the different shops. So we've got the, the mercantile uh, here. Uh, now, why is that scene dark? And we've got a battle map for it. There we go. Not quite sure what's up with that scene. The Blood of the Wine Tavern. Okay, we've got overview here. So we've got this outside of it. Look over here. We've got show intro. So we can... When they get to the Blood of the Vine Tavern, if we want to show them a little video, atmospheric, we can. You know, this is just for one pub in one town. We've got this video. Blood of the Vine has been changed to Blood on the Vine. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. And we can go back to the overview map here where we've got the, the various areas. Uh, let's um, let's look at the scene. We we'll just view the scene here for the inside of the tavern. So you can use that if you want to, um, or you can actually go and use the battle map. Um, we're on the roof. I wasn't supposed to be on the roof. Ah, uh, it's because it's active tiles, of course. So if I actually had, uh, where's Bob? I'll pop Bob out here somewhere. Hello, Bob. There we go. So if I select Bob, of course. Bob can move around and we should find hopefully okay not quite working this will be to do with monks so again as I said test 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 all your scenes and things that's not quite working the way I expected it to um, it's no big deal it's no big deal and it might work for the players better because uh, I haven't got that so yeah test 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 check 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 um, you don't want your players running into that and you're going, oh, hang on a minute, give me a moment, I'll sort that out. You know, you don't want to do that. Let's, uh... yeah, it's going to it's going to be to do with the um, with the tiles, roof tiles, etc. So we should be able to just get rid of those anyway um, and shrink them down and stuff. Uh, let's just let's just get rid of that one for a moment. Yeah, so there we go. We've got the inside. It's all there. It all works. That's not a problem at all. Uh, we just need to make sure that we've got our um, our roof and things are working appropriately. Uh, you might just take the roof off like I just did, although we're supposed to be on the first floor. Yeah. Yeah, so, so again, test it, all right, because that's not quite working. We just need to have a little fiddle with that. 
um, and it's not using um, it's not using rippers levels okay so there's obviously a slightly different configuration that I need to play with to make sure I'm accessing that so that's a shame I've just shown you something that's broken it's not we, it's not broken it's just we need to um, we need to check it but as you saw I've literally just installed it so you know <laughs> it's the first time looking at it uh, but yeah they're all here we can go to the church uh, thank you open that up let's go to the battle map of the church there we go uh, we haven't got roof issue with this one that's absolutely fine so it's all here we've got all of our character stuff so right I'm going to stop waffling I could be here forever um, what do you think I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, but just before I end this video, I have, and again, apart from the length of this video, I've literally spent two hours looking at this, so I'm gonna be playing with this quite a lot more, uh, fiddling around and seeing. I have Curse of Strahd is about to kick off. I currently have seven players, which is a big group, and I've got potentially two more who want to join. That's nine players, that's a bit of a handful. So I'm potentially going to split my group and have two games of Curse of Strahd running at the same time and I'm wondering if I run my version and I run this version and I have both of those games running and just see how they work differently and which I prefer because if this works as well as it probably could um, and using the Benios maps I might switch over to using Benios for a lot of more things uh, because it's it's done. It's it pff, lazy, lazy. Don't worry. I will continue doing other videos, building and stuff myself. Absolutely, because not everybody wants to do it this way. Not everybody can afford to do it this way. And of course, that way we're only relying on Benios maps rather than using our own. So don't worry. We're not going to go off track there. Um, but it's promising. Really promising. I'm going to shut up now. Um, <laughs> if you're using Benios maps, what do you think? What's your opinion? Do you love them? Are you used them all the time? Have you tried using them and they've gone back again? If so, why? Let us know. Comments, always comments. And of course, always read the other comments, all right? Because you guys leave much more useful information than I provide a lot of the time. So please do that. Again, like the video. As always, thank you ever so much for your support. Love you guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.